All right, and here we go. Loading Croft Adia Season 4. Okay, let's check out Spawn. Oh, that that's cool. <laughs> so they changed their logo. That's awesome. Hey, everyone. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I kind of want to check out uh, a bit of thing. <laughs> it's Tango. No. <laughs> Ooh, what's over here? But yes, before I get distracted, Croft Adia Season 4. <laughs> let's get to it. But I'm actually just going to explore spawn for a bit, just because there's some pretty cool looking builds around here. And a flamingo. Okay, this is a massive water fountain. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of season one. Oh, this is so cool. It's a big old throne room. I mean, not as cool as my season three throne room, but hey, ooh. Random dungeons. Okay, so this is the wheel spin. Oh, and you got your keys here. That's pretty cool. Off when the craft daddy gets their crates. Awesome. What's up here? Ah, a recent donor. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to check out what's up these stairs. I don't know why, but these paintings kind of remind me of crabs. Not bad of an area. I'm enjoying it. It's like a rooftop terrace. This is pretty cool. The builders do pretty well in this. <laughs> Alright, that's sick. How do I get down from here? Pandas! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna make my way over there. Why is there a butterfly? Hello? Okay, good. Fall damage isn't a thing. <laughs> oh, it's mountain. That makes sense. Can I ride the panda? Craft Daddy Panda. Oh, these are some cool builds. What's that say? Uh, archery? I think? Uh, maybe. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hello? This is a pretty cool town. I love that mountain over there. All the little hills. That's so cool. The town seems so empty. Where are all the people? Oh, look, it's my favorite flowers. Oh, they're so good. Oh, we got some bridges. They look pretty nice. Oh! Don't mind me, I'm just checking out the area, having fun. I love looking at other people's builds. So much inspiration. Okay, I'm going to check out the thing behind me, and I think it might be something to do with... Oh, hello. <laughs> Auto walk or something. With getting married, because I'm pretty sure there's a heart right there. Is this this season's version of the chapel? I think it is. Well, there's the priest, so yeah, I think it is. Jesus, I'm... Big C. Why is there a monkey? <laughs> okay. That's funny. Okay, what's this? Personal skills. Okay, cool. Craft idea towns. Who's the leading in the town at the moment? First place is unique. Always amazing work. <laughs> Craft idea shops. Okay. So, head merchant. Oh, any cool ones? Gold ore. That looks pretty cool. Oh, what's down this? Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's the black market. Okay, this is cool. So you can sell string. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, this is really cool. Hmm. So there's a bunch of, like, rundown shop fronts. I wonder if they're going to add more other types of shops. Here's the markets. Okay, farming and food. Click to buy. Okay. Ooh, you can buy onions. Okay, this is pretty cool. Whoa, that is a giant windmill. That is awesome. That's a lot of wheat. Oh my god. What are these? Are these little barns? Oh. That is a cool looking block. I want it. Right. Oh, it's Bob the Farmer. Can we get seeds like we did in Season 3? Right click. <gasps> I got seeds. Chili seed, corn seed, red onion. Oh, cool. Tomato, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, avocado. Definitely going to have to make some of these farms. And my favorite, the blueberry. Okay, let's continue looking around and then we'll go to finding a new house. Finding the sweet, sweet home. <laughs> Oh, this is a sick little cart-looking thing. Oh, I can't jump on there. 
That's pretty cool. Well, we got the quest. What's the quest for the day? Travel. I can do that. Break diamond gold. Yeah, I can do that. That's pretty easy. And now is this PvP? <sighs> so many stairs. <sighs> if you're prepared for the challenge, drop down and fight to the death. Keep inventory is enabled in this arena. Okay. Whoa. Well, some people have died. That's a pretty big area. I love the look of this, like, Colosseum type fight. Oh, that's cool. They need, like, some chairs up on the sides or something so you can sit up there and watch the fights. I wonder if there's any new custom recipes. So we had all these from last season. Any new ones? Ooh! Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Fruit barrels. Right. That's cool. Okay, and custom recipes of... Okay, yeah, that, that's just normal. A food, okay. Egg, bread, and avocado. Huh. Ah. Berry pie. Oh, that is sick. Corn. Oh, that's nice. Salsa. I'm definitely going to be making some fruit barrels. That is sick. Okay, I've got to remember this. I don't need help. And then we got this to take you to the PvP. Cool. Alright, let's follow the magical lines and let's go find ourselves a house. And because I always do, Yellow World, let's go. And where do we wind up? Okay, I'm on a beach. I wouldn't say beach, it's more of a desert. Ooh, a des desert temple. And an abandoned uh, portal thing. Is there a chest here? Oh, because I've got the seeds, yep. Ooh, Fortune 1, that's pretty good for the beginning. And I'll take the clock too. And just because I can. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ow. I forgot about that. Let's play it safe. Oh, silly me. Thinking I can get gold with a golden pickaxe. <sighs> That's annoying. All right, let's go see what's in this temple. Oh, and coming up onto the temple, we've got a mesa behind us too. That's pretty cool. Have you already been raided? No, you have not. Okay. Going down. Okay, let's break that. Oh, diamond horse armor. And a saddle. I'll take the bones too. Oh, we got our first diamond. Let's go. You taking that? What's in this? Oh, another saddle. Cool. Cool. I can get out of it now. Okay. Well, I'm going to be doing some Ren and Teleports. So, RTP. That's not me. That's me. <laughs> and then I'm going to go find myself a nice home. So... I'll come back in a bit once I find a nice looking place and then we can get started. I'm so excited. To be honest, I didn't sleep last night. I'm super excited. Okay, let's go find another house. <laughs> I think this place is a bit too cold to live in. <laughs> okay, let's go find the next one. And so I just found a village and got my first piece of armor. So usually when the season first starts as well, the vaults don't work so I can't get any of my stuff back yet. So I have to deal with building my equipment back up. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> I was tempted to keep this place, but I might try looking elsewhere again. And there's zombies tracking me. Yeah, you get him. Whew. And I'm going to steal this thing. I need a grindstone. Hmm. I keep getting mesa biomes, or I should say badlands. I really don't want to live in one. Nope. It's too hot. Can't handle it. Again. <laughs> It's so cold. Go from hot to cold. It's not good. <laughs> okay. I might have found a witch hut. With a witch inside. I don't have much hunger. I have a little bit of health. Let's see how this goes. I hear you. Oh, I see you. Get back here. This is my house now. Ow, I'm poisoned. I have no food. Hmm. I have this beetroot, but... It's not going to heal me enough. And the reason why I have the chunk border on is because I was about to claim the, the witch's hut. Now let's just uh, climb on top and make this a home teleport. Set home, witch, done. Created. Amazing. I need to get food. I'm almost dead. Okay, Mr. Piggy, I'm sorry. Let's turn the fire off so I don't kill myself. Give me your bacon. Healing. It's so good. I see another piggy. Mm. Come here, boy. Oh, girl. Oh, no, there's a zombie. No! Thank you, pig. You'll satisfy my hunger. You, sir, 
Please leave. Ow. Run away, run away, run away. I'll be taking this, thank you. And this one too. And I spot more dinner. I see you hiding behind there. Maybe I won't get dinner. Okay, so I've been kind of sussing out this area here. I think I might choose this place. Because I love building next to like some form of ocean or whatnot. Just to have wharfs and stuff, that's always fun. But then like, because it's kind of flat there, then builds up to these two mountains on the in-between. And then once you come up over this hill a bit, it then kind of flattens out a little. So I think I might have my house up here and just have like a good old pathway coming up from the bottom, from all the way down there to up here. Maybe put some holes in the mountain so it looks pretty cool and stuff. So have some layering layers in the mountains. And then it's actually like a empty jungle kind of, which I thought was pretty cool too. I haven't been this far over. Oh, is this a plains? Okay, no, it goes up. Turns into a forest. That's cool. Oh, there's a little cave. A little waterfall. Hello. Yeah, I'll go down there later. And then I found the big part of the jungle. Ooh, that's a cool little divot there. Yes, yeah, so I think the area over here I'm going to have as my home base. If I can get around these mountainy bits. Very lush and green area over here. I'm definitely having this as my base. And now with how this is... Let's see how I finish. Oh, not so much finish, but let's see what I do with it. <laughs> Alright, time for me to get to claiming. So in picking my place, I also need some beds and stuff. So I'm collecting some sheep, and I've also collected some cows. I'll show you in a second. Right there. There should be a baby one in there too. Oh no. So I'm just trying to get these two locked up, and I need to kill him. Cool. There you go. Nice and safe. You must be hungry. Have some to eat. Let's just get this cow in here too. Give him a little push. Get in there. Cool. Eat up, eat up. And have a baby. There should be another baby. Babies. Oh no. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm sick of almost dying. I need to get some equipment. Iron Man. I'll tell you what. Nighttime's a little rough here. Oh. The guy over there hit me with an arrow. It's gone now. But... The horde at my feet, oh my god. that much better. The whole place lit up. Don't worry about it over there. That's nothing that I've claimed. <laughs> the area is much lit up. It's so good. I know that the that the torches don't really need to be spammed that much anymore because mobs spawn in different light levels and stuff, but I just wanted it all to be bright enough and lit up so no zombies or any other creepers. Oh, creepers don't really explode in craft area. But skeletons as well. They're rough, but yeah, all lit up and Amazing. So me and Saber, we're about to go into the mine. Gonna do a little bit of mining in some caves down in the Caves and Cliffs update. Let's see how we go. And we're off! Almost lost him. So as we started our great adventure, <laughs> me and Saber decided to try and find any form of cave as possible. Then we end up stumbling across one that looked pretty decent, so we end up going in. And funny things happen in this cave. Obviously, if you can see, it just said that someone owned this cave before. So we just stumbled into the claimed area, and I fall down a hole and almost die. <laughs> oh, it was not fun. I was scared. And then as we're going through the cave as well, we also noticed down below that there was a spawner, which was pretty cool. So we got to solve a cave sp a spider spawner. I find my first chest, I open it up, and it's not that great. <laughs> I let Saber pick whatever he wanted out of it, and then Saber was getting attacked by an Enderman and also a baby zombie. Yeah, so I just had to help out, 
took out the baby zombie, and then helped take out the Enderman. Because that's a death wish. <laughs> and we also noticed that there's another cave spider spawner right across from where we were. <laughs> and then I tell Saber. Uh, finally, to collect some materials for the beginning of the server. C collecting iron, collecting copper. Finding myself some redstone stuff, but turns out it's in someone else's claim, so I couldn't get that one, and I found some more. Getting some lapis, I end up letting Saber take the other block. You know, sharing is caring. And then I found this. This is the forbidden cobblestone generator that never generates. And we found a hole in the ground, so I decided to take my water elevator down. <laughs> and then turns out the cave was actually a dead end. Which kind of sucked. But then I turned around and I found some diamonds. So I end up jumping up, pillaring up, and getting myself those sweet, sweet diamonds. Oh yeah. So I was standing on the edge of a cliff and a zombie knocks me off. And I tried to web... MLG. Didn't work. Down in some good caves now, we decided to split up and search for materials. I ended up finding some lapis on the side here, collecting those up, and I just wanted more materials. And then I found Saber, finding his first set of diamonds. Nice. Now going through the caves, I found some more diamonds. I was getting chased by skeletons and zombies and stuff, so I thought I'd just leave it and I'd come back for it in a second. So after I killed the skeleton, and then a zombie appeared. This zombie was probably the worst zombie to kill. It led to so much trouble. Collecting out my diamonds, and then I decided to take off, but then I thought, maybe there might be more, so I'll go check quickly. So I ended up breaking a couple blocks, and then I found diamonds. So I needed to get back to them. I finally got back to it, and I thought, maybe there's some more. I found more, but then a horde of zombies decided to gang up on me and try and kill me. It wasn't fun. No, I just wanted my diamonds. And then this guy over here, he was my best friend. I felt sorry for him, so I locked him up and to prevent any other zombies spawning, so I could collect my diamonds finally. Thank you. And while running away, I found some more diamonds, so I collected those up, and then tried going through the mines a bit more to find any other materials. I came to this big old opening, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go home. There's no point in me going any further. So I teleported home. Oh, look, a drown. Why are you not aggressive to me? We doing a little jig? Oh, nope, I shouldn't have done that. He does not like to dance. There are so many drowned here. Whoa, jeez. He followed me. Whoa, you bought a friend. But look how many drowned there are there. <laughs> I've had a couple trident. People throw stuff at me. Oh no, they're coming. Okay, I need to run. Look at them. <laughs> Charging me in a line. Oh. The others lost aggression. Nope, okay, they're still following me. Stop it! Tree hug tactic! Haha, <laughs> they can't get me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, copper. The tree hug tactic. It always works. So I've got an enchanter. I've put one bookshelf there. I need to breed up my cows. Give me the babies! Hey, babies! I feel like I'm eating so much. My food is starting to become a little bit of a problem, so maybe I might try and end up making some of the new recipes that I saw in the beginning. I really want to make that barrel though, that looks so cool. You know what? I'm gonna make the barrel. And fruit barrel obtained. It's huge. Where can I put this? Uh, does it have a description? It is huge! <laughs> it's like a cannon. Let's just put it here. Oh, can I? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Does it need a tool to break it? <gasps> okay, no, I got it. Okay, let's get the torches out of the hand and place the barrel there. Oh, he's so tiny. I think I just need the fruit to be able to put it in there. Okay, I guess I have to start farming fruit, but I might do that another day. I like trees. It's a pretty tree. <laughs> now, more trees aside, <laughs> more trees. I've fixed up the enchanting table. I've put more books and stuff, and... Guess what? Yeah, I got some diamond clothes now. That's pretty cool. Soon I'll be getting stuff out of my vault, so that's even more amazing. But that's not the thing I want to tell you. The thing I want to tell you is actually me showing you. I'm going camping! And I got some blueberries. Oh, I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> but yeah, I built a little, uh, a little tent, let's say. I've got some stuff up hanging in my room. Got my little furnaces. Got some iron cooking. Got a little carpet. I put barrels underneath little sides there, so it's like my little storage, so that's pretty cool. Paintings, item frames, got a decent sword there. Sword's got looting and sweeping edge, 
So it's not bad. I'm just gonna chuck it back up there. Then I've got my clock to tell the time. And then I've even got a nice little campfire here. And I'll tell you what, how cool does the red onion look? I'll definitely be placing more of these about just because they look sick. I've already got a couple here and there. And you have to have a bell near your house too. For some reason it doesn't ring though. Anyways, everyone who is here to watch Season 4 with me, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.